This is an in-service training program presented by Nutrition Care Systems. Today's topic is food allergies and intolerances. Today's learning objectives are to understand the difference between food allergy and food intolerance, to recognize the symptoms of a food allergy, discuss the various types of foods which can cause an allergy, and lastly, understand the difference between a peanut and a tree nut. Let's explain the difference between food allergy and food intolerance. A food allergy reaction can sometimes be fatal, whereas a food intolerance reaction, they can be uncomfortable. For example, if someone has a milk intolerance, they may get diarrhea or abdominal cramps, but generally doesn't lead to death. Example, lactose intolerance is not the same thing as a milk allergy. You know, sometimes have many people saying, I'm lactose intolerant, but I can eat ice cream. Well, that would not be possible. They probably just have a milk allergy because lactose intolerance means you cannot eat anything with lactose in it at all. So only about 3% of adults and 6 to 8% of children have a true food allergy. And a true food allergy is an abnormal response to a food that is triggered by the immune system. Food intolerances are often mislabeled, as I mentioned before, as allergies. But again, if someone has a true allergy, you have to take that very seriously because again, uh, food allergic reactions can be fatal. Most food allergies are discovered within the first two years of life, and they can persist throughout the entire life, but some, some people tend to outgrow their allergies, but others do not. Cow's milk and egg allergies may resolve with age, but nut and shellfish allergies generally do not. Allergies in adults generally do not resolve, and sometimes allergies are hereditary. If someone in your family is allergic to peanuts, maybe you have one child that's allergic to peanuts, uh, the other child may have a tendency to also be allergic to peanuts. Symptoms of a food allergy can occur within a few minutes to an hour of eating whatever that food that they're allergic to. Food allergy can initially be experienced as an itching in the mouth, difficulty swallowing and breathing. Also swelling of the lips, face, tongue, and throat can occur. During digestion in the stomach and the intestines, symptoms such as nausea, diarrhea, or abdominal pain can start. Other symptoms like hives, eczema, asthma, anaphylactic rations can also occur and they can be fatal if not treated. So which foods tend to cause a food allergy? Any food could cause a food allergy, but only eight foods are responsible for about 90% of all food-induced allergic reactions in the U.S. And the major food allergens are milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, and soy. So strict food avoidance is really the only way to avoid an allergic reaction with one of these foods. So what's the difference between a tree nut and a peanut? Tree nuts do include almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, pecans, pine nuts, pistachios, and walnuts. Peanuts are legumes, so if someone's allergic to peanuts, they have a 30 to 60% chance of developing a tree nut allergy. And many people with a tree nut allergy choose to avoid all nuts just to minimize the chance of any cross-contamination. Now, other foods that may contain tree nuts would include cereals, cookies, crackers, candy, chocolate, energy bars, granola bars, trail mixes, muffins, donuts, flavored coffee, frozen desserts, marinades, popcorn, or specialty cheese spreads. So I always got to make sure you check your food labels before eating anything. Let's take a short quiz to see how much you learned about food allergies and intolerances. Question number one is blank is a symptom of a food allergy. A, eczema, B, asthma, C, swelling of the lips, or D, all of the above? And the answer to question number one is D, all of the above. Eczema, asthma, swelling of the lips are all symptoms of a food allergy. Question number two 
two, which of the following is not usually one of the main food allergens? A, shellfish, B, banana, C, milk, or D, eggs? And the answer to question number two, which of the following is not usually one of the main food allergens? And that would be B, banana. Banana is not one of those eight food allergens. Question number three. All the following are tree nuts except for A, almonds, B, peanuts, C, walnuts, or D, pine nuts. And the answer to number three. All the following are tree nuts except for, and that would be B, peanuts. Remember, peanuts are legumes. true or false, symptoms of a food allergy occur within a few minutes to an hour of eating. And the answer to question number four is true. Symptoms do occur rather rapidly within minutes to an hour of eating. If someone is allergic to peanuts, they are usually never allergic to tree nuts. True or false? Answer to question number five. If someone is allergic to peanuts, they're usually never allergic to tree nuts. That is false. As you remember, typically people who are allergic to peanuts are 30 to 60 percent higher chance of being allergic to tree nuts. Thank you for your participation in today's program. Our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information about our in-service programs or dietitian consulting services, visit us on the web at nutritioncaresystems.com.